Hello, uh, I'm very pleased to be able to be chatting with uh, Steve Holt. And uh, for those who don't know the theory of constraints very well, you're going to have at some stage a, his, uh, a ge geography lesson about where Seattle, Washington is, because the, a lot of people seem to end up there or were born there. I don't know why. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so Steve lives up there, and uh, so does uh, Bill Detmer. And he's going to tell us about how the fact that they were living in the same part of the world uh, led to meeting and so forth. So um, uh, I first heard about Bill when he was still in, in uh, California teaching mm -hmm. at the university. Yeah. And in fact, a, a friend of mine today actually was one of Bill's students down there. Okay. And at the time, we discovered that Bill had a version of his book on the thinking process that was, um, it, it was essentially a, like a print on demand type. It wasn't, didn't, it wasn't really bound. Okay. It was just loose leaf and it was like Xerox copies. And uh, they sold it in the bookstore mm -hmm. in the university. And so a friend of mine called up the university and, and said, yeah, I'd like to order a book. Mm. And apparently he was not the first person to ask this because the, the person on the other end of the phone said, well, you want Detmer's book, don't you? <laughs> and he said, yes, I do. And actually, I, I just saw the, the, the copy of it just recently. It's, it was some years later then. Well, Bill ended up moving mm -hmm. uh, to the Seattle area. Yeah. And then we found out about that mm -hmm. and contacted him. And he came over several times uh, to our off-hour group and... Uh, Ended this is up the off hour group in, in this studying, yeah, yeah. And, and tried things out on us. And then uh, sometime later, uh, so so realized that one of my compatriots at, uh, I believe, uh, Apex CM Seg presentation, mm -hmm. right after the three cloud methods had come out, he did uh, a presentation on it at CM Seg because no one had ever really talked about it other than at the Joan Apgrave workshop. And at the time, uh, Bill, of course, didn't believe in that. He, he saw it as having some flawed logic. Mm -hmm. And so he put an appendix into his book mm -hmm. uh, rebutting this presentation. Right. Now, sometime later in the, in the mid-2000s, uh, we invited Bill over one day and at, at what what we did is we basically uh, set up for a rematch between the two, okay. and uh, and, and uh, going through and saying, did this still make sense, and do we still agree or disagree about this? Uh, but it was really a lot of fun. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm just realizing something else. In the meantime, uh, we have found, speaking of Bill and things that you've been involved yeah. in. We have found IO maps to be, and goal trees, yeah. to be just immensely valuable. And uh, really uh, far more intuitive to non TLC people than I ever imagined. Well, yeah, I completely agree. And one of the things that, uh, that's very dear to me is our, our, our company, Goal Tree. But, um, I also think that the thinking processes are a something that uh, each individual will have, uh, will take a certain amount of time to get up to speed, and that will be very different from one person to mm -hmm. another. And I know that myself, I'm a very very slow learner about that. I'm just a very <laughs> illogical person. Um, and the other thing is, it's it, it's like uh, I often use the analogy of music. Uh, before you can write a piece of music, you've got to learn quite a lot of stuff before you can put it together and um, so if a well written IO map or gold tree it's, it's true it's uh, when you read it out it just uh, it's beautiful yes. and uh, you don't have to understand how it was built to yeah. get there and it just makes sense so the, to, to, to get a message across a gold tree mm -hmm. a properly constructed gold tree I don't know anything more powerful than that well and and, and even then uh, I, I've seen some people, and again, it's not everybody will be the same, but I've seen some just really excellent uh, beginning trees, goal, goal trees,
from people with fairly rudimentary understanding of the of yeah. the method. Yeah. Um, and, and you just kind of tell them the guidelines. Now, obviously, that won't always thing. be true, but... Uh, I, know what you, I know exactly what you mean because it depresses me every time I see that yes. because they do, they, they manage to do in with just a half hour of training yes. what I still can't do after about three years of training. Yes, that's uh, it. <laughs> yeah, I, we, we have regular training sessions uh, when we have people come in and train by build mm -hmm. and some people just, you know, oh yeah, how to do that, okay. And they just do uh, it. It's finished and yeah. Yeah, I still can't do that uh, three <laughs> years later. So. And by the way, I really like the idea of the they're color coding the, the entities in the yeah. gold tree too. Right. Well, that's um, by that was an idea by Christian Urban, who's exactly behind the camera there. But that was quite a, that was quite an uh, invention. I yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah.